Hey guys, Animators here. I'm here to bring you a tutorial on how to do Ragnarok Online bases. It's all pixels and it's very simple and incredibly fun and addictive once you get used to it. Let's get you started. First thing you're going to want to do is go to rowcharactersimulator.ratemyserver.net. It is a great website. It has every single class under the sun and every single hairstyle that you can think of. Well, not every single one. It's quite good. You don't have to be a girl. You could be a boy as well. Unfortunately, the website did stop creating and updating as of 2011. It only has the K row uh, basic headgears. So if you're playing on a private server with its own custom headgears, you're scum out of luck if you want to use this website for it. But the great thing about Pixels is you can design your own or try and recreate whatever you wanted to go for. You could be sitting down, you could be walking, you could be dead. It doesn't matter. This this website's pretty great and does not judge you for what you want to be doing. You can change your hairstyle and your hair color as well as your costume color to whatever you want it to be. It doesn't really matter. Um, what should we do? I think I'll do a girl. The best thing to do would be to do the beach costume because it has as much skin showing as possible and that's what we want because yeah we're doing a base. <laughs> You're gonna wanna ooh, I might go the shortest hair possible as well because we don't want too much hair on her face because we're gonna want to keep as much face free as possible because it is for our base. Save image as whatever you want to call it. Open it up in Photoshop. It doesn't matter what version you have. It'll work on all of them. Even MS Paint. I don't suggest it because it's still a little bit harder because there's no layers to work with, but just as easy to do. Open it up. Cheers. Don't freak out about the pink background. Duplicate the layer. Okay. Do two new free layers and delete the background. Move her up one so she's in between those other ones like a happy little sandwich. Get that uh, wand tool, select the pink and delete it. Now we have our own little free roaming sprite. I went to the beach today. Oh congratulations. It sucked. Why? It rained. Don't you go to the beach to uh, swim and get wet anyway? Oh I'll get wet alright. Oh whoa whoa. Not today. Anyway, as you can see, as you zoom in, there is still little pink uh, bits on her. <laughs> you heard me. With the eraser tool, you're going to want it to be in pencil mode, not brush mode. Make sure of that it's very important because we want it to be in a square like the rest of the pixels. Oh, and the opacity we do not want down at all. Get rid of them. Now we're going to want to completely colour over her costume. Easy as pie. Trying to keep as much of that shape as possible. You don't have to, because if you want it to be flatter, make her flatter. It's that simple. Keep as dark a possible outline for her though. So if you wanted to keep uh, the outline that they've given you, keep it dark. So that's be that would be about where her body would go. Try and keep that shape. Not too much of it. We don't need the rest of this. So we're going to destroy the costume completely. Because we don't want it. It can go away. Get lost. I'm also going to make her body a little bit taller, so she's not quite as stumpy looking. So we can pull in that expected arm. So she's a little bit skinnier. This is her arm that I'm colouring. Don't worry about shades. It really is this simple. I definitely suggest trying it if you are a fan of Ragnarok and have always wanted to do something like this. I'm 
There we go. And it's that simple. You have one little naked base. I do strongly suggest for the protruding parts, like just simply for... Well, there's a darken out there. Darken them. Because they protrude, we want them to stand out a little bit more than the rest of her body. So this is what we want to do so we can see them a bit more. Same with her outer layer. I'm not going to do her feet in this video just because I think it'll take too much time to show you all of that. But it's just as simple as doing the rest of it. Just, you know, colouring over and getting rid of everything. We don't need it. You're making your own character at this moment, not someone else's. Just don't be scared of shadows or anything. Pixels are your friend, they like you. May not act like it, but they do. They just can be jerks sometimes. Have it. There it is, that easy. If you don't want her to be in this pose, change it. Let's do something with her arm so she can be doing something else so I can show you how easy it is to just change. Get that darker color for her arm. Let's make her do something like... Hisudesuka. Hisudesu. Doesn't matter if it's all Wongo or whatever, you can fix it. It's the great thing about pixels. If it looks Wongo, doesn't matter, no one else cares. Fill in the skin. Could have probably used the fill tool, but that doesn't matter. Get it. We want them shadows. Just in places where you think the shadows belong. Nowhere else. Doesn't matter if they go overboard. Like I said. They're tiny little pixels. Who's gonna see them? Zoom out. Let's have a look at it. PC. I missed a blob. So just fill it in. So her face. Don't feel restricted by her hair. If you want to put your own hair in, do it. Let's get rid of it. Keep it dark around her eyes. Just because we want to know where her face is at all times. You want to keep it reasonably within the shape of the rest of her. I do suggest keeping as much of her facial outline as possible, otherwise you'll lose it and be like, oh damn son, I lost my face again. And everybody will be like, where your head at? And you'll be like, I don't know, I lost it. Yeah, I'm not. I'm a white person, I should. But there we go. And it's that simple really. Just get rid of the hair that was protruding a little bit, but keep as much of the outline as possible of where her face would be. Because that's where you want to keep the most. I know it all just looks like a big blob of what the hell. Because that is what it is. That is exactly what this is. This is a big blob of what the hell am I looking at. Until you zoom out. That's when it all comes together. See how her head is just a blob? We can shade it more or we don't have to even do that. Because I'm going to put hair over it. But yeah, if you wanted to make them bald or whatever you were doing, do it. Don't be scared. Don't be scared by any of this. Nothing scary here. On another layer, let's do our hair. Let's make it... Say blue. We'll go blue. Yeah, blue's a cool color. Go as dark as possible. Definitely make sure it's another little layer. I want to go down here. 
she can have whatever hair you want her to have. Doesn't have to be restricted to anything. Except for maybe shape. If you want to keep it the size of her hair, that her head, sorry, that would be good. Fill it in with the lighter shade of that blue that you have. Boom. Don't forget if you want to give her an ear, do it. Let's get rid of uh, some of that hair first. Just so we can see where the ear might go. Let's get uh, this darkness. You can make a normal little human ear if you wanted to. Maybe a little one. You can have a big fishy ear if you wanted to. What's the matter? Maybe a little elf ear for this one, huh? And this color. And then fill in the shade. And there we have it. A cute little ear. Doing whatever it wants to do. It'd be like, yo, I hear ya. <laughs> uh, I'm sorry. A little bit sorry. Sorry I'm not sorry. Yeah, you can fix it. You can curl it. You don't have to curl it. You do whatever you want with it. Smaller, bigger, anything. Oh, where did I go? With the hair. Make shoops. Make sure you're on the right layer. Oh, I did her ear on that layer. That's easy enough fixed if you do that. If it goes on the wrong layer, just grab it with the select tool. Edit, cut, control V, put it back where it was, and paste it on there. Control E. Back to that hair layer. As you can see, now it's no longer on there. Actually, we'll stay on this layer for a bit so we can shade in where our hair's gone. Because we want that shadowing from where the hair is. Yeah. And now we're back on the hair layer. Let's shade it. Shading can be fun, shading can be boring. It's not everyone's cup of tea. We have got very basic, very basic shading. Make it lighter. Do our highlighting. You don't need a lot of this. Highlights are very subtle. Yeah, put some more of those shades throughout her hair so that we can see that it is in fact, hair. <laughs> you can put on some of those highlights over her head as well. And have a look at that, see if it looks alright. It's fine to me. Now, on another layer, I'm going to get that dark outline and we'll give her a back of hair. Uh, we give her piggy tail, she could have a big ass mohawk or some weird fur shizzle madrizzle yo. Let's do some weird fur shizzle madrizzles because this is a tutorial. I'm showing you how wild and crazy you can go with this sort of stuff. Make sure it is linked up at the back so you can fill it in. If you're missing out a spot on it, it will soon become obvious. Fill that in. Shade it. Ah, uh, why did I have to do such a complex design? That's alright. That'll do. Get those highlights. Highlight it.
and it is that simple. We have some hair. <laughs> we have a lot of hair actually. Hey guys, Animators here. I hope you enjoyed that tutorial on Ragnarok Online bases. They're really fun, really addictive to do. I, I don't know why, I, just, I love doing them. <laughs> Uh, you guys should definitely dabble in it if you're, you know, if you're new to pixels, definitely start this way because they're just easy to do, fun to do. Yeah, you'll, you'll, trust me, you'll just not be able to stop doing them. Once you've got a base, all the costumes and the props, the hairstyles and stuff that you can create and wings and tails and everything, everything you want to do on, in your imagination, you can do on, on pixels or in art and anywhere like that. It's beautiful. Anyway, uh, join me on animators.deviantart.com or find me on Facebook. I'd love to chat with you and I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. I'm not here to be famous, I'm here to teach. So I hope you had fun. I did because I'm tired as hell. I can't stop smiling. Ah, uh, You know why I also can't stop smiling? I have some Ben and Jerry's ice cream waiting for me in the freezer. Oh yeah, I'm getting in on that. Thanks guys, have a good one and stay safe. Peace!